of that nature. But what my situation was, was elbow surgery, which took about 10 to 12 months to recover from. Then we got back into the gym and we suffered a hand injury. So um, all year I've been dealing with that. If I can't jab my sparring partners, there's no way that I'm gonna get into the ring. Um, obviously we gave up the WBC um, title and we let these boys fight for it um, to bring some more action in the sport. I didn't wanna be responsible uh, for no action being in the Walter Wake division, but I'm back. I plan on getting my belt back and more things to come in the future, but we're starting it off in January 2019. Okay. Uh, Mikey, Sean's a tell fight hype. Uh, that's, uh, um, if you want to see the full press conference from uh, yesterday for the PBC on Fox, then you can go to my channel. But in this particular video, we're going to talk about Keith Thurman versus Jose Zuto Lopez. It's going to be happening um, January the 26th, uh, 2019. At the Barclay Center. I'm T Street Controversy. This is T Street Controversy Live with FightView360.com. And you have to respect the fact that by the time Keith Thurman gets back into the ring, it will be 22 months, about, you know, closer to uh, 23 months since he's fought. Almost two years. And Jose Zito Lopez, for a guy with that long of a layoff, is very, very dangerous. Trained by Robert Garcia, most notable win of his career was when he had uh, broke the jaw of Victor Ortiz when Canelo was sitting ringside. He went on to get Canelo Alvarez, and obviously he was much smaller. Canelo beat him up. Another big fight he had that ended kind of controversial, controversially, controversially to me, still looking back at it, was Jose Zito Lopez versus uh, Andre Berto. In fact, let's go look at it because I've been noticing, I've been seeing a lot of people talking about um, who is uh, Jose Zito Lopez? Who is this guy Thurman is fighting? So 36 7, 36 and 7 with 19 KOs. Miguel Cruz, so uh Corral, these were like, you know, Todd Manuel were like, you know, come back, stay busy, fights ish. He's been in the talks to fight Keith Thurman for quite some time. It's been about a year, right? That he's been it's been the rumors of him and Keith Thurman or him being Keith Thurman's return fight. Then the Andre Berto fight I was talking about on uh, Spike TV. If you want to see my uh, results for that fight, it's here on the channel. Mike Arnadas, respectable fighter at that time, even though, you know, don't let the resume fool you. Marcos McDonough, Sul Canelo Alvarez, Jesse Vargas, Mike Dallas Jr. So he's been around and he's now, you know, a seasoned veteran. So the question is, what's going to be next for Keith Thurman if he wins? Now, obviously, this is a big fight. It's going to be uh, the first fight of the year on PBC on Fox, correct? Um, they're, launched, they're, they're starting. Let's go look at it real quick. Here's the schedule, by the way. Well, technically, it's going to be on Fox Sports 1 with uh, Uzkat the guy versus Caleb Plant. Like, these are some really, really good fights, and we're going to be talking about them all. Like, we're going to be going through them all. I'm talking about preview videos, fight week videos, press conferences. Like, we're, we're going to be covering everything. So, Keith Thurman, as you can see, is going to be coming back on um, the 26th. And since it's a free TV fight, we don't, obviously we don't know what none of the undercards are going to be yet. But looking at, you know, the fights that we have now, you can expect for the undercard to be um, build-up fights, I guess. You know, like showcase fights. Because all the big names, especially when you look at uh, Showtime, is going to announce their schedule soon with uh, Pacquiao Broner. Right now, what's the, it's um, 8.14 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, Wednesday, November the 14th, 2018. So this fight is going to be in the Barclays Center. By the way, we're looking for help. If you're interested, our uh, email is right down below in the description box. Obviously, you got to let us know your name, you know your location, what your work schedule is, because these press conferences will be happening randomly. Also, we need writers and contributors. You know, we, we, we have things really, really organized right now, and we want to make sure anybody we bring on understands that, listen, you know, you ride with us, we're going to get there, especially right now since, you know, we're budding. But moving on. Let's go back. I feel like this. Keith Thurman is the number one 147 pounder because he is still yet to be beaten. 
still WBC, you know, he had to give that here. Let's go. Let's go listen to a little bit more. This is going to be funny right here. This is what I, Errol Spence had to say. Don't you feel like an obligation to have maybe give a chance to one of the great welterweights that's out there? Um, well, I mean, that's the fight that's going to offer to me. I think that's the big fight in Dallas. And uh, with Sean Porter, I thought that fight was going to happen. It, it somehow fell out. And um, We're going to talk about Sean Porter. going to stay injured as long as I keep winning. So, <laughs> I mean, I don't think me and him ever going to fight. If he messed around, retire, I get that WC belt. Well, Sean, and King, what, what's your reaction to it? I mean, I know you respect Mikey and for what he's trying to accomplish, but what does it mean to you to see the best welterweight in the world instead of fighting one of the two other welterweights fighting Mikey? Well, first off, each one of these fights is a great fight for Elspeth, okay? So, and outside of that, I don't know what happened with negotiation with Sean. But obviously, when I'm healthy and I'm ready from beginning. When I stepped on the scene, I said I wanted this belt. I said I wanted that belt. I told you guys I want to grab all the belts, you know? So I'm still on a mission, but my health comes first. In boxing, there are times where what you want today, you're not going to get today. But you can still look forward to tomorrow. Luckily today, I think this is a tremendous fight that's going to happen. I think this is a big opportunity for all of us um, and working with Fox. And I truly look forward to that up and coming fight. I look forward to getting back into the ring, establishing myself as the number one Walter Wade champion in the world, getting this belt back and then negotiating for that big fight with Errol Spence, the one he thinks he'll never get. I'm not Floyd Mayweather. So. Oh. Sure, if you want to respond. Uh... Uh... Sean Porter is fighting your Dennis Yugas. I feel like this, and I'm going to talk about it in more detail in my uh, um, Spence versus Garcia video, is that Spence really had no choice. When Al, Sayman, when Al Heyman says, you got to take a fight, you got to take a fight. Mikey Garcia wanted this. Spence was paid huge money for Ocampo and Lamont Peterson to keep him away from other networks or other promoters. And now he's got to, you know, it's time for him to return the favor to Al Heyman. That's my theory anyway. But I got to talk about it in more detail. I know you're probably like, what the fuck is he talking about? But in regards to Keith Thurman, you know, he's still number one. But right now. Errol Spence is the boogeyman and Terrence Crawford, he's new in the division and I don't think he's getting the respect he deserves for being an undisputed champion at 140 pounds. Now I understand that when it comes to 147 pounds, he is on the wrong side of the street. But just like Jamal Charlo, when it comes to 160 pounds, he's on the wrong side of the street. Eventually he's going to have to go to the zone or major money is going to have to be dropped for them to come over to Showtime, but that's highly unlikely. When it's Terrence Crawford's situation, then it's like, you know, what the fuck is going to happen with that? Because right now, PBC has enough fighters that, look, they can do, you know, Spence versus Garcia. The winner goes on fights Sean Porter. The winner goes on whoever, you know, you got Keith Thurman, uh, 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 Danny Garcia. They can freeze Terrence Crawford out, make it, make it to a point where he's going to have to go over there, you know? We'll see how that rolls, though. His uh, likely mandatory, Kavalaskis, Edegis Kavalaskis, is fighting this weekend on Friday. Top rank on ESPN. I did a preview for that, meaning Terrence Crawford's likely WBO mandatory. So, nonetheless, I'm going to put all the details down below in the description box. And, of course, as more news comes out, we're going to be uh, talking about it. We just got to hope that Keith Thurman remains healthy and that when we see him in the ring against Jose Zito Lopez, that it's not going to be one of them situations where we're looking like, oh, Keith Thurman is shot. You see what I'm saying? Because those two tough fights he took with uh, Danny Garcia and Sean Porter after having a layoff in between and after suffering an injury in between those fights as well, or as he said, fighting with an injury. To come back now off of two injuries, you know, it's going to be interesting to see what he looks like in there, especially if he can hang with the top guys at 147 pounds. Because right now, everybody looking at Earl Spence like he's the boogeyman. And he is. But... We got to talk more about that in our um, video for him versus Mikey Garcia because I don't. I mean, he's he not stupid. 
he really don't want that fight, but he know he got to take that payday. And also, he know he's not going to get no credit for beating up a smaller Mikey Garcia. Look at this. Look at this. Let me show you some shit. Let me show you some shit. It was, it's, it was hilarious. It's hilarious. We at? We at? With his height. How can he deal with that? Mikey's in trouble. Mikey's in trouble. Look at that. Look, Lynch, Lynch don't know what to do. He like, damn, PBC making this? It's crazy. I'm interested to see what the pay-per-view price is going to be. Remember, this is uh, PBC. Uh, uh, Thurman is fighting on free PBC on Fox. This is PBC pay-per-view. But we're going to talk about it more in a later video. On Tistry Controversy, this is Tistry Controversy Live. Oh, we didn't show you the face-off. With uh, Thurman's ponytail. Lopez going toe to toe with the oh, WBA shit. welterweight champion Keith Thurman. There we go. I like this guy. <laughs> Y'all think he gonna pull out? All right. Look at one time. Ponytail longer than never. We'll see them. I'm high. Face January 26th on Fox. A quick photo op. All right, guys. I'll see y'all later. Teach your controversy. Teach your controversy live. Thank you. I appreciate it. Fuck my Los Angeles Times. Mikey.